Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about a psychological, emotional, and coaching-related paradigm for your listening pleasure. There are nearly 800 audios available for your listening pleasure on a variety of topics. If there's a topic you'd like to see covered on this channel that hasn't been, please feel free to leave a comment below and we'll try to do that within a couple of days. If you're looking for coaching as it relates to kind of making yourself more attractive for a potential relationship with the persons or types of, of your choosing, this is a good audio for you. If you do want to reach out for dating coaching or any other type of coaching, would be love would love to be of service to you in that way. Uh, there's a couple of ways to make contact through Twitter at Theo Perception, or you can reach out right here on this YouTube channel through the About Me section of the page. We'll get in touch pretty quickly and hopefully be able to do something good for you. In any event, um, this particular audio is about things that may make you more attractive without realizing it. So if you remind um, a person of someone that they esteem, be it a family member, their best friend, their mentor, or anything of the nature, and there are personality um, qualities in you in that way that bring those reminders forward, uh, a person is more likely to find you attractive. If there's a level of emotional commonality with a person that they already know, it's easier for you to get, um, you know, into a better place and um, have better quality relationships. If, if you have uh, a connectability with someone they're already comfortable with, they're going to be more likely to develop emotions related to you and connected to you in a more organic and and foreseeable and comfortable fashion. The next is um, if you make them feel safe. So a person is seeking safety and security. So safety is building the bond of uh, connection that they can be themselves, that they're not going to be judged or forced into things that they're uncomfortable with, that they're not going to be made to believe they're lesser than or in competition with another person, that they're not going to feel as though they're they're wrong if they're not ready to move the relationship forward. But the safe space, both emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically, has to be created for a person to feel attractive. The more safe you make them feel, the more attractive they're going attracted they're going to be to you. And they may not even at first understand why they feel the level of attraction they do, except I'm just comfortable around you will come to mind or similar phrases. And it's because you've created an atmosphere of safety. So connecting via music and entertainment is another way that you can be more attractive. If you have commonalities of the emotions expressed through music and or play a musical instrument and therefore have creative mindset, people are by nature attracted to people that can create because a person that can create also has the ostensive ability to be a problem solver. So if a person is seen as a person that can solve problems, they're more attractive to, to the average individual simply because they look at them and go, okay, well, if I was ever in trouble, I can trust this person to be helpful and beneficial to me. And so when that level of beneficial nature is there and when that level of creativity is there and the ability to get lost in the moment and to create from a place of uh, strength and, and uh, security, there the level of attraction will last by, uh, by default. Your demeanor being calm and self-assured is also important. People are more attracted to individuals who can handle challenges in a more discernible and easy way. This is to say that if a person feels that they are not able to hit a person that, that they're around is not able to handle conflict and or is not able to handle their emotions in a way that makes sense but is not pressure filled, then that individual is going to be more likely um, to be uncomfortable with them. Therefore, keeping calm during difficult situations or during traumatic experiences or even during rapid-fire life experiences can be challenging. A person who feels that you're in the same life cycle and therefore understand their challenges is going to be more attracted to you. Attraction is often based on commonality, and so if you are looking to settle down and get married and, you, and you're trying to date someone who's just coming out of college, for example, there may not be at that same level of attraction. Similarly, if you're in the mode of being a parent and um, the other person is ready for retirement, there may not be same level of attraction. So finding commonality of life stage 
can be a great way to increase likelihood of attraction. Finally speaking, in this particular audio is the reality of um, the potential of a person to make healthy choices. So most of the time people want to um, have a long-term relationship. That's the idea of connecting with somebody. Very, very rarely would a person want to, you know, worry about somebody passing away on them soon after getting connected. The emotional toll of losing somebody is something that most people try to avoid. Similarly speaking, if an individual has the belief that they're going to go through loss, they will be less likely to engage. So therefore, if you make healthy choices about what you eat and what put into your body, how you manage your emotions, such as sadness and anger, how you, you know, manage to make time for yourself and how you schedule your time. All of these can be indicators to a person that you make healthy choices. And the healthier choices you make, the more attractive you become, both in the short and long term. Hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.